What a fight we just witnessed at the Barclays Center, ranking Garcia emerged victorious via a majority decision over WBC junior welterweight champion Devin the Dream Haney. The question beckons, did the extra three pounds have an effect on Devin the Dream Haney? And my answer is a categorical no, because it's about styles and the matchup was quite difficult for the vendor dream haney because ryan garcia ended up being also being the faster man of the two making it difficult for devin the dream haney to judge the speed of ryan garcia and like the saying goes timing be speed and ryan garcia had the speed and he had the timing in this particular fight and he used it to his advantage my problem with devin haney in this particular fight was he was standing in the pocket in exchanges with ryan king garcia i think that ryan king garcia could have done better in the exchanges but i'll be giving you detailed in the upcoming seconds but first remember to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon express your views in the comment section and share this particular video with friends and family first of all the fight cake dot at, at a very high tempo with ryan garcia asking questions of devin the dream haney in the opening uh, 60 seconds of the first round and since then Devin the Dream Haney became cautious and in the later round of the in the later minutes of the first round Devin the Dream Haney recovered and won the last minute of the second round eh, of the first round then the second round Devin the Dream Haney started boxing using his job staying behind the job and whilst Ryan Garcia was still looking for another left hook which eluded him in the second round third round but in the fourth round, Devin the Dream Haney was the man who showed that he has recovered and was going to be the aggressor in this particular fight as his uh, left hook also wobbled Ryan Garcia, but he ate it well, came back, applied a little bit of pressure, but a round was called in favor of Devin the Dream Haney, in my opinion. The same thing happened in the fifth round. Ryan Garcia became a little bit more aggressive, but one thing Ryan Garcia did not do and this particular fight was work behind his job. He was just looking for that particular devastating left hook in order to knock out Devin the Dream Haney. But the second half of the fight was what was interesting because in the second half of the fight, in the in the seventh round, Devin the Dream Haney was dropped again. And that was when Ryan King Garcia was silly. He was over enthusiastic because when the referee Harvey Dog separated both men, or was asked about to separate the men then ryan garcia landed a shot on devin the dream haney then the referee ended up deducting one point straight up from ryan garcia i agreed with um the decision of referee have have dog but one thing i think referee dog should have also stated categorically in that round because devin the dream haney was beginning to hold ranking garcia excessively and he should have also detected a point away from Devin the Dream Haney because the, it was a, a sexy clinching and that w shouldn't have been tolerated. But the, round, the rounds went off and I went on and Devin the Dream Haney became cautious. Ryan King Garcia was fighting in pockets. He was having his moment. Like I said in my preview, yes, I got it wrong. Let's move on. Ryan King Garcia was having success in the pockets, especially when he turned South Pole. Devin the Dream Haney was finding it difficult to hit a eh, sorry into the shoulder row Devin the dream haney was finding it difficult to hit him and one thing i think ryan garcia should have had very sharpened was his was his uppercut and Devin the dream haney had no business being in the clinches with ryan garcia because ryan garcia was stronger and he was faster and he has hurt you you should have been cautious be on your bike box behind the job and win the fight but he chose to trade on the inside with ryan garcia and i think that one or two shots landed in which kept causing devin the dream haney problems in the 11th round devin was clearly hurt and was almost out of there there is excessive clenching continue and referee have dog did not deduct a point from devin the dream haney if not i think that if not for the excessive holding i think that ryan Ken garcia would have finished off devin the dream haney and i like the way ryan garcia fought he had his moment and anytime he let his hand go, he got Devin hurt and that in the rematch would be a problem if it really happens for both of them. I think that in the rematch, Devin should insist 
on the 140 limit and not go ahead with the fight that is if it happens but i'm not interested in the rematch for now i think the right man won and the reason for winning was using his power and his timing to his advantage Devin the dream Haney had the belief that he would achieve greatness um, without being beaten but he i think that at, at this stage of his career he will still achieve the greatness but he will just do it not being undefeated i think that it was a superb boxing match ryan garcia applied to type of defense the moving around defense in the earlier round then he used the uh, philly shield or the shoulder rule in the later rounds but Devin the dream haney had no business trading with ryan garcia in the inside and that was also part of his um disadvantage because anytime he had come in a little bit greedy and was leaving Devin always uh, sorry ryan garcia always caught him on the chain and i think that Devin would have learned from this i think that he was the more disciplined fighter he is the one that fights according to game plan but the Devin the dream haney game plan was not really executed and i think that was as a result of the left hook that landed in the first minute of the first round making the game plan go out of the window like mike mike tyson says when the first punch land that is when you realize that if you really have a game plan or not but oh could kudos to both pugilists they are both warriors they've displayed that they are gallant warriors and one thing you can say for sure about Devin the dream Haney is that he is one tough mf and he kept pressing on he did not give up he kept pushing and at least he did not get the knock uh he wasn't knocked out fair play to him but i would love to see him get a confidence booster fight then step in the ring with the likes of teofimo lopez in a unification bout for ryan garcia i think that he should go the pit boot route because pit boots can be hit easily and pit bull would come with a lot of pressure if he lets his hand go he can give ryan garcia a world championship a championship fight which i think he should have made against Roly romero but all the same and a rematch with Jovante Tank Davis was also be exciting. A rematch without any clause. Both men would come to the fight fully hydrated and ready to perform. I think that it will still be a dangerous fight for Ryan Garcia, but I think that he would put in better performance than he did against the one they fought at 136. I think it was an exciting night of boxing. Kudos to both pugilists. They have put their lives on the line for our entertainment, but I'm not ready to see a rematch this was an emphatic win for ryan king garcia though devin had his moments ryan garcia clearly overpowered devin the dream Haney and secured the w that is my take for this particular fight i would love to see what bill Haney would say after this and how he will react to others after this is very very interesting i have always i have already put up my twitter reaction so click and watch the previous video Thank you for watching. Stay positive. Remember, your greatness has no limits. Thank you.